Live look a little bit closer to home this morning at the Space Needle, where in just a few weeks, people will have the chance to climb 98 flights of stairs to the very top. If, if, if that's your thing, our own <laughs> Abby Oconi is there to give us an inside look at Base to Space, a big event there at the Space Needle. Hi there, Abby. What's going on? Hey. Yeah, good morning, everybody. Really excited to bring you live coverage to preview the Base to Space event that's happening October 2nd. All the donations, they go to the Fred uh, Hutchinson Cancer Center and the Space Needle Foundation. We're in one of the two open air staircases. And by open air, we mean that there's still a gate, a fence here, but this is giving you 360 degree views, climbing from the bottom all the way up to the top. Right now, we're looking back over Don's early light. We can see downtown Seattle, the glow off along Bellevue and the Cascades. Now, these elite athletes who are climbing these stairs, they can do it in as little as five to seven minutes. By the way, 832 steps. For most people, it takes about 20 to 30 minutes. The elite athletes and the fast climbers in one staircase and then for the slower folks, which would be me, uh, on the other. All right, I want to introduce you to a fourth-year climber. She's done this before. We're talking to Erin Friesen this morning. Erin, thanks so much for being with us. Thanks for having me. This is such a unique event. Can you just describe what climbers can expect for this? It's an experience like nothing else. Like, when I heard that I could climb the Space Needle stairs, and it was open air, too, that was huge for me. I don't want to be breathing in everybody else's sweat. Um, <laughs> <That's right. laughs> it was just, I jumped at the, the chance to do it. I did it once and I was hooked. You know, this is my fourth year now and I've um, done it multiple times every year. So the second year I did it twice, the third year I did it three times. Okay. Now I'm doing it four times this year, so. And it's great. Tell me about your time. You're pretty quick on the race of the time. Um, the first year I was about 12 minutes, and then that hooked me with my competitive side. So mm -hmm. I uh, challenged myself to get it under 10 minutes, and now I'm at about eight to nine minutes. You're going to crush it. Erin, um, this event is personal to you. This mm -hmm. means something. Can you share more about that? Yeah, um, my dad was diagnosed with cancer in 2016, um, and so 2017 was the first year I did it. Um, this past June, he just passed. Um, from cancer so um, and so this year is is really special to me really important um, I'm raising a lot of money hopefully um, so it's just twofold raising money for cancer and doing this event um, my mom is doing it with me this year yeah. um, so I'm really excited to share the experience with her what was it like? I know your dad was part of this event, too. Mm -hmm. What was that like? Yeah, um, in 2019, I was able to do the Spire climb because I was one of the top 10 um, fundraisers. And so he joined me on that um, event. And it was really special to him. He really enjoyed it. And one of my favorite pictures of the two of us is from that from that day. So. Thanks for sharing. Just one more thing. What has it been like to journey with Fred Hutch, the significance of where these funds go to? Yeah, that's just huge to me. Um, I just bug people so much about uh, donating to the cause. Fred Hutch is just amazing um, in their alliance with Seattle Cancer Care um, Alliance and UW. Um, I have friends that were at Seattle Cancer Care Alliance for um, cancer as well, treatment. Um, so. They're just amazing. I'm yeah. glad to have them in the city and glad to be um, raising funds for them. Thanks for sharing your dad's story. You know, impacting a lot of people who are watching this. We're going to be bringing you coverage throughout the morning, ultimately harnessed on the slope roof of the Space Needle during the 9 o'clock hour. But in the meantime, I want to send things over to Brian. Beautiful weather out here today.